All right, so thank you so much for coming today. Um, I know it's been a little bit of a crazy month and it is spring and things are doing, like things are changing a lot, right? So that's really exciting. So today we're actually gonna be using alcohol inks. Now, a lot of people have, um, they've tried alcohol inks before or they've kind of seen them and maybe eyeballed them and they didn't really know how you could use them aside from just marbling. So a lot of people see them and they're like, oh, well, that's really beautiful. We can do marbling, but, but what else can we do? So today we're just gonna start with marbling and make it very simple just because I want people to be able to feel um, the difference in alcohol inks on different surfaces and with different colors, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and move these out of the way. These are inked. This is from Profiles Backstage. This is um, here in the United States. It's actually here in Florida, but the nail tech store in Canada um, is the one that actually distributes these in Canada. So if, uh, and we'll talk about some of the promotions that we have for these down the road, okay? So you can see they're very, very liquidy, very, very liquidy. It is literally alcohol that has ink in it. So sometimes they look like very, very similar in color. This one you can tell is definitely green. So we're gonna talk about how to use them. So I just wanna show a couple different things. So this one, uh, is actually, we did this on a matte surface. So we painted our nail white and then did a matte surface and did the alcohol ink on this. We painted this one white, did a smooth surface and did alcohol ink on it. And then we did uh, black on this one and we came through actually with white gel polish and made it kind of that smoky finish. This looks like a, like fire to me really, it really looks like fire. So um, I'm going to show you how to do that one today. Um, so let me just move these out of the way. We're going to start with using, so our little tips like this. So this is uh, just, just a tip that we like to use because then we can make all of our stuff look the same and it looks very beautiful. So this will be, this will be good for us. We're going to use white magic or black magic today. These are also both from Profiles Backstage, okay? So we'll go ahead and do this. So we're gonna start with white. Now, the thing with uh, white magic and black magic is we have to make them very, very, very thin. If you do more, if you do it too thick, then um, you end up with like little wrinkles and you definitely don't want little wrinkles. It doesn't cure all the way through because it is so pigmented. So very, very, very thin. As you can see, I haven't even dipped it back into the container yet. We're just doing it like this. All right, all the way down. All right, so we have this one in white. We'll go ahead and see that. Super, 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 super clear, super clean. And we'll put that in our light over here. And we're gonna cure that for 60 seconds. While that one is curing, we'll go ahead and do another one white. Super thin. And what's wonderful about white magic and black magic is you don't really need more than one coat, you just need one. The, pi the pigments are so, so thick. You just need one coat. So you see that up close? Looks really good, right? Oh, here we will have someone else who wants to join us. All right. Miss Ursula. We'll go ahead and cure that one too. And then the last one we're gonna do is black. Now black especially. Um, okay, so in the nail tech store. Okay, so this is what you do. Um, send an email to warehouse at nailtechstore.ca. And they are, they are waiting for people to be able to email them because we have these in stock. And the promotion this month we're actually offering is buy one inked 
get one free. So that's pretty great. You can send that and save a lot of money, get all those alcohol links at a really great deal. All right, and here is our black one. Very, 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 very thin. All right, so we'll put those out of the way. Black. And cure that one. Okay, so here is one of our white ones that's already been cured. So we're actually gonna use a matte top coat on it to start because this is a really good way for people to see the variations between how that alcohol ink works depending on the background of the nail. So a matte top coat, what I have found with matte is it actually, um, it gives you such a wonderful canvas because you don't, it doesn't move around. Like alcohol ink is known to just kind of flow and be very, very fluid. And with a matte background, you can tell it where you want to go, which is pretty, which is pretty great actually. So we'll make that one matte. Got to be like super smart at this, right? <laughs> and then we're going to make this one shiny. And I do know that they will be working on getting things added to the website. It just, I know things, not the website, excuse me, the, um, the store's website, the nail tech store website. You know, sometimes when we get new products, it takes a little while to get those in or if they're making changes. We've had a lot of like, sh not shipping, but um, what is that supply? Like supply chain issues, right? Okay, so this one is clear. Back in there. All right, and the black one, we're actually gonna make the black one matte as well. So you can see how nice and smooth this is. There's no, no wrinkles in it, looks really good. Let's go ahead and put our mat on it. And there is a reason I want mat on the black. So this is very, very basic. I know um, if you've ever played with alcohol inks, you might be thinking, oh, this is, you know, this is so simple, but I do believe there's always something that we can learn regardless of if we've used them before, if we've touched things before. So, all right, so there is our mat. So we'll go ahead and get that one curing. All right, almost done curing the other two here. Get that one turned off. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is this is our mat, and I just want to show you kind of how alcohol inks work, okay? So we're going to take, we'll just start with like this one. This is raisin. Okay, and I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna open grape. This one is tangerine. This one is avocado. All of this sounds like something from Florida, doesn't it? <laughs> and then we have some different ones. We have um, yellows and uh, like a really bright pink. So we'll use a couple of different ones, okay? So let's start with um, let's start with actually with our pink. Okay. So here's our pink and I just want to show you, I'll get really close here, how you drop it and it just stays. See that you're going to see a difference. Okay. So there's our pink here is we'll take yellow. And if you touch another one of the ink, wherever that ink is and you touch it, you're going to see they kind of bleed together. It's important to know that because I'll show you the green. We have kind of blood in there. And how you can see it kind of moving around. And let's do this one up here. That's tangerine. That's just kind of a, it's like of a brown color actually. Let's do this as raisin. Okay. 
So it just kind of gives you an idea of how all these blend together. Now, if we let this dry, I'm gonna blow on it a little bit, let this dry, and then we come back through with another color and drop it on here, it's going to bleed into the colors that we have here, but it also might make its very own channel. So it might be a little bit of a lighter color. So here, I'll show you. Let that one dry, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's grab our yellow. So see, it started to bleed into the alcohol ink that was already there, but it also made its own color. If you drop it again, So it's just very, um, it's just very uh, abstract. It's like water, watercolor a lot. I actually am going to teach us how to do watercolor down the road. So you can see how it kind of blended in there and I have a really nice line. So that is just very basic. Now let's say, so this is beautiful. All on its own is very beautiful. But let's say you want it a little bit more, um, like lighter, more muted. So you actually can just take alcohol. So I have a little Menda pump full of alcohol and I just have a little brush and you can dip your brush in the alcohol and you can actually kind of mute it out. You see that? Make it move a little. Kind of blend them together a little bit more if you wanted. Yeah, it's muted out here this way. So these are, this is just super, super basic, just on a white mat. Kind of move that pink up there. So we'll just let that kind of dry. Now, something that's really cool about this is let's say you did this and you wanted kind of like that rose gold finish, you know, you could do your, your rose, uh, just like pink and red, kind of brush it in here, get it where you want it. And then you could come through with like uh, your little veining, that kind of stuff. Or um, you could take this and you could do little lines of gold or black. And this kind of artwork is very, very beautiful. I've seen it, you know, hung on walls before. So that's just kind of an idea. Or if you don't want it like this and you want more of the purple, you can add more purple. Add more purple up here. There's so many things you could do with alcohol ink. So this is just the basic, basic, basic. Mute it out a little. And let's say here's something else that's super basic. You have maybe where you don't like it, it's too much. You can actually come through here with just a paper towel and kind of blot it and it gives it a totally different effect. See? Super easy. This one is super easy. Okay. So we're going to put this one aside. So now you could just, you know, top coat this, matte top coat this, however you want to do it. And you're ready to go. You have this really awesome nail. I'm gonna mute it some more. I've seen where people have done this with the background, like a sunset background and then drawn just like a black silhouette. That's been really pretty. So super simple. So we're gonna go ahead and put that one to the side, okay? So now let's grab the one that's shiny. Here's our shiny one. Now you can do a little bit more here. I have my palette. And I'm going to grab some of our alcohol ink and I'm going to drop it on here. And because it's alcohol, it will evaporate and you're going to be left with just a little bit of that color. Take a little bit over here. See all of that. If I had just a white tile, you would see what it's doing, but it's just kind of, there you go, just kind of spreading out. See that? A bit of this color, a little bit of our green. I'm going to grab, I have some blue over here. Oh, yeah. Grab some blue. Oh, that's melon ball. That's not blue. I'm going to grab a blue. Uh -huh, just kidding. <laughs> like a blueberry color. beautiful purples and I have a black so that's really cool we're actually going to talk about how to use this down the road with um with canned air 
that's going to be really neat. Okay, so we can take a very fine brush and we can dip it in our alcohol and we can pick up some of that alcohol ink. And now we can kind of move it a little bit more precisely where we want it. Come through with our alcohol and we can touch it and kind of blend it out because we want it very, very muted. And I have found that there is a difference between using it on a matte versus a shiny. It will, it will flow a lot more on a shiny, of course, than it would a matte. And that does make sense, right? Got a little bit of that yellow. So like I said, very, 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 very basic today because we just want people to kind of get the idea of how to use alcohol ink. Lined. Let's grab some of our blue. blue. Tap it in there and it turns green. So let me show you this one up close. Dropping that alcohol in there and just letting it kind of flow. And wherever it stops, wherever it dries out, you're going to get a pretty big line, like etched in line there. There we go. Where now it's all dried. More alcohol. So wherever it evaporates at that last minute, you get kind of some cool bubbly effects in there. Oops, sorry. Hold it back here so you can see better. All right, there we go. I'm gonna grab some more of that blue. Cause that pops a really pretty green in there. All right, super, super basic. This looks easy, right? A lot of times you wonder, how do I do this? Well, this is how you do it. So now you could come through here and you could paint, you know, your little veins, you could do your little lines, things like that. Now let's see how we're going to do this on a black nail, because you know, if you were to have these inks and you put on a, put it on black, it's not actually going to show up very good. So how do we get that smoke effect on that black nail? Ooh, so pretty. Okay. So we'll move that over there out of the way. We'll grab our black nail. Okay. So remember we did that. This is what we're going to do now. So I'm going to clean off my palette. I'm just going to use alcohol to clean it all off. And I know Ursula, I know you saw the amber nail last week. I don't know if um, Billy Joe, if you did, but we actually did use alcohol ink in our amber nail last week. So that was really cool. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to take white gel polish, just a tiny bit. We're going to take our thick brush and we're going to dip it in alcohol because we've been doing a lot with alcohol, but with, with um, gel polish, this is how you can get it to be more of um, like that smoky effect. Okay. So we're going to grab here and kind of go like this. See how that looks just like smoke. get a little bit more. And I saw where you said, yes, I did. And I sent you my attempt. I will have to go back and look. I got super, super swamped. And so I've been working on trying to get through a bunch of assessments, but that's good. All right. See how that looks like smoke. Isn't that just so pretty? So I know you've seen these nails where people have been like, oh, I'm going to do a smoke nail, right? And they turn out all incredible. Well, we're going to do the smoke nail, but we're going to use it with alcohol inks and gel polish because this is, if everybody has the alcohol inks, they're going to want to know how to use them differently. Grab 
through here, another little line. It's like you blew out a little candle, right? And that's what's left over. So if we can do a little bit more. Okay, and then you can always take your alcohol and if you want to, drop it in there, let it kind of flow. Now, because this is gel polish, we have to cure it before we can use our inks on it, okay? There we go. Now, it kind of looks like an x-ray, <laughs> but I think it looks really, really great. So, um, and something else we could do, you know, this is an idea. Let's take a little bit more of our white and we'll just make a little bit thicker spots through here. That'll be cool. Very abstract style art, but I just love it. And for working in a salon, this is a nice way to make a little bit of extra money. It looks like lightning, doesn't it? Okay, so that gives me an idea. So we're gonna do like some greens and blues and purples to make this look a little bit like lightning, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's cure this. Come out here a little bit more. Yeah, we're gonna say this is our lightning nail. Here we go. Yeah, it looks really awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and cure it. We'll do our 60 seconds in our light. And I don't know where my little paper towel went. I guess I have a new one. <laughs> okay, so I know there's just a few of us here today. So it's kind of like a one-on-one -on -one class, which that's kind of cool. And I really do appreciate you coming. And we will be um, changing everything to Mondays. So it's going to be the same time. It'll be one o'clock on Mondays. So that'll be great. Um, I think that will help a lot of people because people are really busy. I get it. I totally get it. So here's our green. We'll drop our green down. I'm going to drop down some yellow. More yellow. And I want some of our blueberry. Where's our blueberry? Blueberry. Melon ball, that'll be a good one. Okay, next week is going to be the very first Monday. I hope that that's okay with everybody. I will be actually putting up a nail today, later today, that everybody is going to get to see of what we are going to be learning on Monday. So here's some of that blueberry. We want a lot of the blueberry. And then we're going to do just a Titch, just a tish of our little purple, which actually looks a lot more like pink than it does purple, but it's purple. I promise. I'm gonna have another one over here that's more purple. Let me grab this one. You'll have to change your alarm. Well, I really appreciate that you are so faithfully here joining us all the time. I just really, really appreciate that. Okay, so here we go. Here's our we're going to call it a lightning storm because that's definitely what it looks like to me. It's like one of those um, Bob Ross, like happy accidents, right? So I'm actually going to take that really pretty blue. And we're just going to add some of that blue through here. A little bit more alcohol. Grab some of our purple. And I want the purple to really, I want it to kind of focus on those little veins. Okay. We're gonna grab some of this melon ball color here. So you're seeing a little bit of a trend. It's like using your alcohol and alcohol, even with gel polish, you can still use alcohol and we're able to make this really beautiful nail. I'm gonna grab some of that yellow, 
drop it in here. And how cool would it be to grab just like a little bit of silver to really make this look super like a storm. Let me grab a little bit more blue. I'm actually gonna use the blueberry straight from the, from the bottle. There we go. Uh, yes, thank you. This looks very much like a thunderstorm, doesn't it? All right, we're just gonna let that bleed in there. So what you're seeing is it's only showing up on the white. It's not showing up on the black and that's the look that we want. We really, really wanted that look. So grab a little bit more yellow. Pop that in here. Oh yeah. I'm kind of liking it. What do you guys think? It looks beautiful, right? So this week, if you guys wanted to attempt to do a thunderstorm, lightning storm nail, this would be what you were going for. So you would want to be doing it on black. I love this time of year. I love spring. It's a little something about me. I love spring. I love thunderstorms. Um, I've been through thunderstorms that have had um, hail that was the size of like grapefruits. Okay. I know that sounds crazy, but it's super true. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I am actually going to grab my silver. Hold on just a second here because I think this would be great. I have silver. It's just silver gel polish. All right, there we go. And we can do silver or gold either way, but we're gonna do a little tiny bit of silver. There we go. All right, let's grab a little bit of our silver and we're gonna do tiny, tiny lines here. Pull it right up here close by. very, very light touch. We're going to get that little bit of sparkle. Oh yeah. You see that does make a difference, right? It's like those tiny, tiny little details are so impressive. Now, if you don't have silver, which some people don't, you know what you can do is you can take silver chrome and mix it with clear top coat and you have the exact same thing. Just a little bit of silver polish. Also, um, did you know where I live here in Florida, we are the lightning capital of the world. Not even joking, the world. Um, more lightning, we get more lightning strikes here where I live than anywhere else in the world. And it is not uncommon to walk down the street and meet somebody who has been struck by lightning. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> okay, that looks really pretty fantastic. Okay, so let me go ahead and cure that. We'll cure our silver and then we'll top coat it. And I think we're gonna see some really, really great changes. Aw, thanks for putting up with me and all of my little, my little ADHD that pops out there. Clean up all my messes. This is gonna be so great. I can't wait to show this to you guys. <laughs> and once again, thank you so much for coming. I really do appreciate it. I love that you come here. So here we have our mat, just our basic. And this one was on shiny, a lot more muted. This is also the one where we did more with our brush, just our plain little brush and alcohol. So made that one a little different. And then we can, we can actually top coat both of them so then you can see them. And then here is our black, 
with our alcohol inks into our lightning storm. So let's top coat those and see how that looks. I always call this magic because once you put that clear on, it looks so different. It's when all those colors pop up from the back. And this is one where we did the white that we made into a smoke. And then we did the alcohol ink on top of that. Yeah, that looks so wonderful. It's like so hard to actually see it up close, but there's so much depth. There's so much depth. There's so much definition there. So I know I love the lighting. Same, same, same. All right. Um, but here we'll go ahead and top coat this one. Now, something I have learned about the alcohol inks is that you want to make sure you use a top coat with a UV protectant. That's very important. And that is um, necessary so that they don't like fade in color. So now when I look at this one, I could see where if we did a little bit more this way, a little bit more this way, this actually would look like a flower. We could make this look like a big, beautiful, like Georgia O'Keeffe style flower. So there's that one, here that one. And then here is the last one. Something like this, you could make into just a really cool sunset, something like that. And then you could paint a silhouette on it. So it could be like, you know, you could do like a tree off the corner of it, something like that. And maybe uh, like a little, like a little porch uh, swing from a tree, something like that. Like it's very bright in real life. It's hard to catch the color here. Let's see if I can do it this way a little better. There we go. Or, you know, you could always come through with um, black and you could make these into flowers, each one into different flowers. So those are just some ideas of the things that we have. So sticky top coat is fine. Yeah, you can absolutely use sticky top coat and then you can just take off the, you know, take off the dispersion layer after you're done. So go ahead and hear this one. Here's the other two. And I love the lightning. I'm with you. I absolutely love the lightning. And who would have thought that we could do alcohol inks on black, right? That's pretty cool. So yes, you can use a sticky top coat. That's fine. Just make sure you remove the dispersion layer. If you were wanting to paint on top of it like this, um, with a sticky top coat, you definitely could. Uh, I actually have been doing some experiments in the background using like gel melt. So it's like the melting clear that you can do alcohol inks with that. So it's going to be, it's going to be really exciting to show you some of the new stuff coming up. So just a couple of those little ideas and they just turned out pretty neat this week. So that's super simple, I know, but um, when you start thinking outside of the box a little bit, you start seeing some different things. So there's the last one. So there we go, my friends. All set, right? So if you want um, to get the inked it, that's what we were using, or the inked, I'm sorry, just the inked. They're buy one, get one free from Nail Tech Store dot ca if you want to take advantage of that just send them an email and it's warehouse at nailtechstore.ca and they will make sure to get you your buy one get one free so if you have any questions don't hesitate to reach out and you can always send me messages or photos or anything and we are going to um, start showcasing some of the work that you guys are doing so let me know if you need anything or if you have any questions or any comments and i am here and we will see you next monday at one o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time instead of Wednesday. So we'll see you next week, everybody. Thank you. Bye.